Welcome to eFix Go Shopping. Yes, yeah, so you can take this one. Not a problem. And there you go. There's the keys. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. This is. You don't look like a stranger to a baker's, Gary. Ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. So you've done the butchers, the bakers, well this must be the candlestick makers and what looks like a selection of horn adornments, books, gifts, cards and general knickknacks. As we're on company time, I think I'll have a haircut. Having watched that, I don't think I'll bother. Well, that's blown a hole in the expense account. Time to get something to eat, I think. I seem to be experiencing some financial cramp, Gordon, so you're going to have to pick up the tab for this one. Uh, yeah, again, you've been enjoying yourself on the eFix expense account. Well, in today's video, we're back on a topic we've looked at before. It's UVC disinfection, particularly when it comes to the air, and we think that can be of benefit to some of the installations that you've been to look at, Gary. Yeah, so I've been around the town and I've noticed lots of doors opening, allowing air to circulate into the building. Also, Perspex screens, and in some of the shops, they're still limiting the number of people that can be in there. However, Gordon, you've got some intervention here haven't you yes we have we've got down in our favorite indian restaurant in skipton we've got this phillips uvc disinfection unit that is cleaning the air in this room but obviously we're in a fantastic environment here ready for some lovely food it is also suitable for some of those places you might not want to go to on a regular places the dentist and the doctors did somebody say doctors thought i'd just get involved and explain the principles related to this video Viruses and bacteria that cause diseases float about in the air all around us and if we inhale them, it can lead to ill health and disease. However, UVC light is capable of reducing this risk by inactivating bacteria and viruses. Now this light needs to be used carefully so it doesn't impact on humans and the units that Gary and Gordon are looking at in this video work by drawing air through them, bathing it in UVC light and then ejecting the treated air out the other side. They're really easy to install. The freestanding one is simply plugged in, or there's the fixed versions, as you'll see in a moment, which simply fix to the wall or ceiling. This means they can be fitted without disrupting business activities and are safe to operate while people are in the vicinity. Now, I've got loads of patients. Back to Mastabs. The UVC units we're going to see in this video are incredibly easy to install and perfect for the places that we've suggested. Yeah, so we're going to take a closer look at them, but I will leave a link in the description below so you can see more about the product and you may want to reach out to Philips to get some advice on specifying a unit for your kind of installation. Shall we take them back to Lineside Studios then? We always love a visit down to the eFix Customer Experience Centre. That was absolutely delicious. We have brought back the floor-mounted unit here, and I've already dismantled it so we can see how it operates. But I see you've beaten me to it, Gary, and you've already half dismantled the unit behind us. Yeah, I've fitted the wall-mounted active air behind us. Easy process. Take off the back bracket, screw it to the wall, and I've slid on the unit. I've left it exposed because hopefully you'll do a deep dive for me. So we've looked at Philips UV disinfection solutions for air before on the channel. The difference with this one is it uses fans to force the air through the unit and expose them to UV light. So the air enters and this side of the unit passes through a filter to remove dust. Filter's really easy to change. You do that every four and a half thousand operating hours. Uh, and then it passes through this clever chicane so that the UV light can't leak out from the unit. Once through there, the air is exposed to the UV tubes, which we've got here. So we've got two 60 watt tubes, uh, which obviously then disinfect and inactivate any viruses or nasties, as Gary would call them. Then the same on the outlet side. We've got again this clever chicane here, and there's our fans at the top that deliver up to 120 meters cubed of uh, airflow per hour. Few clever design features we've mentioned the baffles um, but we've got this micro switch here um, that as soon as you start uh, trying to remove the cover will switch the tubes off we thought oh, first of all what if you just uh, what if you just push that back in uh, you can't do that it triggers the control system here and presents an error message once that's open and you have to uh, cycle the power again to do that um, the display on the side also obviously uh, gives you the number of operating hours for the lamp, so they need to be changed every 9,000 hours. And then pretty much as every other lighting probe, we've got our power inlet, fuse, and a switch. Obviously, the recommendation is you do switch it off before starting any maintenance. 
That was a great explanation. I'll just put this internal cover back on. I think it's time then to power it up. Just power the unit up there and you can hear the satisfying hum of the fans there, giving us reassurance that there's air actually moving. Uh, you can also tell the UV lamps are on as well through this window at the front, but there is also a filter in there so that's not uh, UV light leaking out into the room. Perhaps just have a look on top, Gary, you see okay. how clever so, the baffle design is in this unit, because we remember on the air disinfection units we looked at before, you could see the UV light if you uh, were side onto the unit, and with this one you can't see anything. Uh, and also remember uh, with this unit you could also mount this on the ceiling as well, so it's not just a, a wall mounted unit. Uh, the instructions say it should be half a metre from the top of a ceiling uh, or half a metre from the uh, from the side of a, a, an adjacent wall. And between the two units we're talking about covering up to floor areas between 20 and 30 metres squared, am I right? Yeah, which is probably ideal for the uh, shops that, uh, that we like to visit. Um, so let's just have a closer look at this unit here. So this is the floor mounted unit and it's similar principles on this as well, uh, except the baffle design is a little bit differently. So I've got this, uh, this Velcro design here. So if I take this off, we can see inside there, there's four 18 watt uh, UV PL lamps. So the lamps in that shading cloth should be replaced every 9,000 hours? Yeah, and it's exactly the same principle as we saw on the wall and ceiling mounted unit. The air is drawn obviously through the outside of the unit, through this, uh, through the shading cloth, which is also a filter for moving the dust, and then uh, passes through the UV lamps that are in there and out through the top of the unit. Okay, so you can pop that back and just connect the two leads. We've got the one for the controls at the top and the power lead to reconnect as well. Our freestanding unit is back together, and we get to see that lovely display panel next. Yeah. So simple operation, so on off, listen for that noise. So we've got uh, our three fan speeds. So this is the medium setting, so crank it up to full power or drop down to a minimum setting. Along with that, it's permanently on at the moment, we've got some countdown timer functions. So this could be on for 30, 60 or 120 minutes. We've also got a lock function as well, which is pretty useful when you think of the applications this could end up. So the classroom, possibly someone, uh, time on their hands waiting to go into the dental chair or a visit to the doctors lock the controls so they can't obviously mess with the settings. This isn't the first UVC product we've seen from Philips and we'll leave a link to those in the description as well. We went down to Guildford, didn't we, where we saw another air handling system, Gordon? Yeah, so Philips installed it in their own office and we followed the installation of that. This system is a lot simpler to install. A lot of those uh, safety concerns have been taken care of within the product, so it's ideal for the smaller installations that we've seen. And let's remember Philips' track record in UV. This is not a new application, it's something they have a deep heritage in. As always, we're interested in your feedback. Have you thought of some applications where you'd like to use it? Leave those in the comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.